versus two, Master's Cup. Hello there, and we are live in game two of this very exciting quarterfinal in the 2v2 Masters Cup. I'm here in the south side with Bao Liang as the Brits and Von Ivan as the United States forces. My co-caster now is Ed 80 Hertz, the legendary Ed 80 Hertz. Who do we find in the north, Eddie baby? <laughs> We find Isildur proving his superiority once again with OKW <laughs> and uh, Von Aston on the Austere. Excellent. And what is the score? I mean, did you manage to catch that glorious game one victory? Did indeed. I saw my boy, Von Ivan and uh, Bao Liang. I, I called him Chi, but I'll call him Bao for this stream, I guess. Everyone will know him <laughs> as. Um, yeah, they picked up a glorious uh, game one win. Real solid, solid defense on the South VP. He's got a special mansion for Bao. He he did ace with that flag. I think that was Von, incredible. Yeah, Von did his did his bit. So, yeah, sets us up well for game two nicely. It really does. I think right, um, that Bao Liang had the game of his life in that one. You could tell, by the way, with the desperation on the victory points, they they didn't want it to go on any longer because. Like, Bao Liang is not like a 1v1 super mega plays all the time player. He's a very good player, but, you mm. know, he can counter you strategically, but he might not have the micro to keep up for the full 55 minutes. So you could tell that it was like, right, finish it now, get it done. And there was that kind of real excitement at the end of that game. I just loved it. Really good. Well, he's about the only guy in history to get a complete makeover and not have to go to South Korea because he's gone from the B4 meme artist to a complete that's a all-rounded player. You saw his his build order. He did have ass NGs, you know, it's a bit spammy at the start, but uh yeah, he held the line perfectly. MG combined arms with the pack forty and the glorious buffed new flak panzer just did work. And uh here we say Von Aston's not messing around anymore, he's gone for an Uber Meta sniper build. Ooh, <laughs> I know, <disgusting>. right? Disgusting. <laughs> it is but for people that don't like he must snipers. Be worried. He must be worried. He's He's in an absolute Alcatraz or Mogadishu. I don't know what you call this south part of the map, but it's heavily the tail of a sniper. Indeed. It's a Mosul. It's got a lot of stall lot of side side. It's It's got a lot of sight blockers. It's not exactly <laughs> sniping territory, but then, you know, it does have that long central avenue, so maybe the sniper just stays back, Ed, and, st like, stops you having that central avenue and don't yeah. forget as well it got buffed heavily last year with the 100 percent accuracy of garrisons well let's check out the north we've got to give some love to von ivan um with the rifleman coming up against those folks grenadiers and uh just took going straight for that cut off yep. cut off before the fuel as well you can tell he's a 1v1 player so great work famous always shutting down the axis early game oh yeah he's famous for going for resources primarily before anything else he just loves it Going for the jugular, the Von Ivan way. Von Aston with the sniper, it's it's a long-term investment, you know. It's like premium bonds. You, you don't see much return for about three, four, five minutes. But over that time, when you get into the 15, 16 minute mark, boom, should be on oh. 17, 18 kills by then. And more that economy is back. an exponential growth, exactly. And it's, uh, as Ed says, you don't quite see the uh, benefits of your investment immediately. But, oh my God, the manpower gains in the late game it's uh, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer if it's a well micro sniper and you've got to think as well what are you up against in tv2 games so usf can't make a sniper so they don't really have a counter unless they go for a quick uh, m20 and bao Liang is not the kind of player to build a sniper so it's a good read from von Aston. if he's a poker player i think he's done his homework here we go, and uh, von Aston's now taken that sniper north to its more ideal hunting ground for the sharpshoots and just also stopping any early game counters from uh, like the UC or anything. Not that we're seeing them. Sorry, my, my voice is cracking. I've got a hangover. Not that it's okay, mate. It's okay. Them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like the guy at Krusty Berg, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy shit. You want a French fries? A ton of grease on his forehead alone. <laughs> <laughs> In the center, we got Tommy's against the sniper. The worst target for the Brits to throw at the. Um, into the situation. Obviously, heavy manpower losses for every thing here. And Bao Liang knows that he's about to have a full retreat of a full health squad there. That's the tactical advantage showing. Meanwhile, in the north, Von Ivan's on the march. And uh, tier one, tech for Von Aston. Look for juicy rifle nades now. <laughs> oh, yes. Look for the. It's the best ability in the game, to be honest. Best skill shot ever. I, I love oh, it. Oh, yes, certainly. 
<laughs> we all do a well-timed one, me. but uh, even just uh, making the noise to, to cause your opponent to retreat. Here we go, yep, rifle main in one. the south. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> well dodged by Bao Liang. But just acting on adrenaline. It. Yeah, he ran into it. That's good. That's good. Okay, so MG, well. late game. Uh, well, late, uh, late on MG42 came out after all the other guns and snipers. So straight away with the MG, I don't. A lot think. of Axis dominated games today. It doesn't necessarily indicate. It's not necessarily indicative of bad game balance. It could just be uh, that the players are fancying a little bit of um, German efficiency today, etc. Uh, well, they they're good in the mix. So with allies, you've got a lot of options. You don't know which combo to do. But with uh, Axis, you know the combo you have to do for this tournament, right? You have to have mixed factions. Certainly. And each also, other well. I mean, look, the the commander's already chosen for AKW, so that's the OKW player's build is locked down. I mean, and look, we've already got mechanized. It's it's like a meme. It's, All the top yeah. players talk about it. Like Kimbo <laughs> just says to me, like in Steam, he just says, you know, um, Luke's Puma, Command Panther, and then he's, he's made a meme. Yeah, whatever you want. I think it's that Facebook picture they stole of me. Do you know I'm biting my uni friend's head? And he says, <laughs> it's like OKW player on the left, the guy biting. It just says like that build order. <laughs> and yeah. then it says any other player on the right. Uh, it was but, a very funny meme. Uh, but, what's, so it's a, but what's not normal is a double bunker from Von Aston. So he's built Isseldor in his base. That is a true bro move. Try get that really in your 2v2 randoms. Uh, it might work well. Oh, by the way, Sniper's being harassed by base howitzer fire. But I tell you what, the first grenades have got to retreat through that. Oh. Watch this second howitzer shot now. Big tension rising, flying high in the sky. How it's misses. Get wiped. No. Oh. That's you just like the little baseball guy, you know, at the back. When they get through yeah. to that base, it's safe. Uh, that was very frustrating, much like Ed 80 Hertz's sex life. <laughs> it looked so promising for oh, a moment. Non, non existent, mate. <laughs> oh, that, that's true. My bad. Frustration is the least you got something. <laughs> Here we I go, we got Stu <laughs> Stuart's on the west side causing all kinds of problems. Folks Grandiers, watch on. Tommy's trying to get out the oh, nice assault gren uh, grenades there. Eh? could pick up if on Aston is next level. He could go for the shot now. Oh, not enough resources. So you, can, <laughs> you can snipe and then incendiary snipe straight away, and it's like no reload time, if I'm right. That's right, yeah, you get to. D he was building it up, it. but he, he splooged some munitions somewhere else. Stewart out. King Stewart, as I called it. Oh, so, yes. The Conig Stewart. When, when it comes out, it may as well be a King Stewart. It can be so dominating to play against. I mean, in 2v2, there's arguably a little bit more opportunity for counters, yeah. of course, but uh, it's just a little bit more difficult to get it rampaging as you can in, in 1v1, but uh, certainly it could become a King Stuart. We, the possibility is there. It's a Prince Stuart at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you Should what, um, yeah. sorry, what were you going to say? Book our pipe for the NA's finest. The NA's finest that are still in this tournament, but yeah, it's a really good start for them. It's not bad, but I tell you what, it's a much more equal start so far, I would say. I think this is either team's to get to game to play for. Um, we haven't really seen anything authoritatively go in either team's favour quite yet. Juicy Taylor going down from Von Aston. Oh, yeah. Nice positioning as well. I mean, you often see um, Stuart's going to maraud around there. I mean, you can see how far north it is at the moment. That's on the same trajectory, just in the centre of the map. So, expert Taylor positioning. He's about 17 years away from LMGs, though. That's the only thing. He's been such a bro to his teammate, got him the healing, his own healing, and then the teller. It's going to be a while till he can get them upgrades. Sniper's right. going to have to carry it. Correct, yeah. I was about to say, the sniper is now uh, all your, your fruit in one basket, or whatever the expression is, because he's got to do all the anti-infantry work, you know. All, all the microwaves in the attic. I don't know what the expression is. <laughs> what, what is the idiom? What do you say? I think that's relevant in Stoke. <laughs> but the, <laughs> the, the, the sniper, 16 kills already. That, Not bad. Nearly that too. It must have it's done some work. That's nine minutes. It is. Nine kills. Von Aston's on fire with that. Oh, sweet 16 turns to Supreme 17. He's getting the big kills in now. And here comes the... There you and go. It, it's yeah. know your opponent, and he knew Bao Lang is not a sniper kind of player at all. He's not. No, he's not one of those kind of like, uh, in inverted commas, elite 1v1 micro kings. He was a strategic 2v2 player that knows to play within his limits and can play to a high level doing that. But if you go sniper against him, you make him really uncomfortable. 
Oh, Grenadiers against Tommy, sir. That's a bit tricky. He's, and shot. he's picked up a lot of his kills on the mid and top of the field. He hasn't just stayed in the little quarantine section down south, so great work. But also, it, I know Von Ivan can go sniper. We have seen him counter a snipe. Von Aston in 1v1 tournaments, for example. It's not He's not great with it, but he can do it. But he says USF. If he was yeah. Brits, he'd have the counter snipe option available to him, but he doesn't. <laughs> Don't make me remind you of my... My order match win against Von Ivan, where he tried snipers, but it did no, not No, you go reminded well. us of it. You reminded us of it. Don't worry. So you and said, "Don't make." I've me only said it seventeen you. times, though, right? <laughs> 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 he taught me well. He taught me well. But I went disgusting, mechanized. I don't think. Oh, counts. sniper in peril! Tommy's got some good yeah. shots there. MG would have covered him if he had to. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, good. but still, really good play from uh, Von Aston. He's he's kept this little back in this game. Stewart versus Puma. The lieutenant's got the bazooka. How threatening. Meanwhile, does I hear a rifle laid, I think? Yes, I do, and the Tommy's suffered it. Axis uh, regaining the map more. Potential double fuel fuel cap hype. And we see it. Whoa, Bao Liang. Oh my god. What's your sure. she just done? Shield your eyes. He's got a freaking both as on the VP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Suddenly I want to go back to cook dinner. Oh. <laughs> oh well. It works at rank 1000. Let's see if it works. <laughs> you never know. Maybe he's a genius. Maybe there's enough shot blockers around the Bofors uh, yeah, yeah, to good. allow this to happen. It causes exponentially more resources than it costs to deal with it, you know? Oh, nice um, Polish hammer here from Isilda coming with the Blobberino trying to take out <laughs> the rifleman. But Von's struggling this game. He's got the BAR upgrades, but uh, I don't know. I think he's yeah. He's say he's going for that early Sherman. Valentine, a command Valentine. They tried to christen it in, in their misguided attempt to nerf the tank. They could not nerf the Valentine because it's straight back into the meta. Just one of them at a time now. It the stopped Valentine its heavy question. Thank the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Else that thing was a pocket rocket. You Good cut off play from. Oh yeah, very good oh. cut-off play indeed. He's pushing in with the two first the bleed. King Stuart though. He's sat on his throne at the moment. Yeah, he's just holding strong very, very well indeed. Meanwhile, let's just double check on the sniper doing work. Just claiming his 24th kill now. It was That's only a two kills a minute and he didn't even come out in the first minute. That's pretty impressive. Very impressive indeed. Very well micro sniper usage. And we've got a, a good push from uh, Baldiang operating off his Bofus um, emplacement. He's just pushing on from it. Meanwhile, Von Ivan in the north, he's got a nice flank off on this MG. Getting around the cone of fire, causing a hard retreat immediately for Isilda. Uh, Could you geez. imagine the hype of a 2-0 Von Ivan victory? Sorry, Von Ivan and Baldiang victory here. I'm, I'm scared, man. I'm scared for the NA's hope. Von Aston has just upped his level. I don't know. I think he's he was born to play Oste or something. This is this is sexual chocolate in action. Uh, he is. He Not has got that kind of like love nest, devm kind of levels appreciation for Wehrmacht. The, this is always their most, you know, their favorite faction of all the top players, and he plays them very well indeed. In the south side, we can see that uh, we've got a bit of a resurgence from Von Aston. He, I think he's waiting for this Stukas. Oh, what have I'm you seen, dude? It. Where? Oh, put Say Panzer where? North, have south? announced themselves south, south, so south. Just absolutely okay. deleted a whole squad of five man bongers. They voted <laughs> Brexit. They're going home. <laughs> oh, God. You can see the crawling bodies also. Yep. We could play from Von, though. He came, uh, Von Aston, he came from a real sneaky angle from behind that, I don't know, sugar mill. I don't know what you call it. Outside STGs there. taking out the Tommies in the north. It might have been the coaxial of the Ooh. Puma that got them. On is under serious pressure. He can't get the fuel to get a fast Sherman. He's got the Major out, but it's going to be a while. I tell you what, they've got a coordinated fire also coming down on these folks, Grenadiers. And they're holding strong in the center. Others are flanking that position. Oh, Lang's uh, both is coming in helpful here because this is just holding like a rock down there. And the Valentino. Valentino having a nice foray there. 
And the Stukas of Foos hits nothing. Von Ivan had such a good game with them last game. Is it this now the turn of Isilda? Yeah, so there's kind of got that winky competition going on. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Valentino going in! Oh, he's going he's full in for oh! Stuki misses! Misses what? the first shot. Is he going to sacrifice himself to the gods? There you go, second yeah. shot in. He's on a full engine. Shabba, no oh, damage. No! Traverses and oh, gets the kill and survives, right Ed. And survives. And we also got a Panzer IV. Jeez, it was like a black cab in London. See that turning on? Got him, though. Can he get out? Thirsty now. P falls on the charge. Really in cover from Vons. Oh, but P4 makes him pay. Good pickup. Makes him pay, Aspen. but as I say, it's only 80 fuel. You can just keep building them. The Valentine uh, train yeah, will be I fully forget, engaged. Yeah, it's call in Master Vase. Yep. But you look at Baolang's infantry. He, he was he was microing that uh, Valentine like a god, That's but at the expense not. of everything else. Yep. So off camera, every single Tommy section died. Let's be honest, much. we were like hawk-eyed on that tech. <laughs> we we would I have think lost all that. He spots. was as well. We were literally in his brain then. He was like, Valentine, Valentine, must take out the Stuka. Ah, wait, I've lost a thousand manpower in infantry. <laughs> But people won't realize, but that's the little, maybe, millimeters difference of, of how the game goes. If he gets that first shot connecting rather than the miss, he doesn't have to go balls deep into the base. So. Hmm. Mix of luck and a bit of uh, a good counter punch from the Axis there. Certainly. In the north, we've got the uh, MG34. Crept up to the fuel <clears throat> for Sherman. Let's see if he gets that 16-minute Sherman. Or does he wait for the Jackson? That's the next big call. Ren's taken out there. Good yeah. work by the Strange. lieutenants. Strange loss for normally a faultless display so far, but uh, yeah. One, he's got enough manpower that yeah, he insta rebuilds. That full first credit is on the march, it's flanking the rear echelon's position, and uh, they're holding strong now, Von Ivan and Baoliang. But uh, they have suffered a lot of casualties, so they really need to consolidate their units and work together. And they are giving each other that synergy right now. Bao Lang's rebuilding the British Empire one cup of tea at a time. And he is truly extortionating the bottom. Look at that VP in fuel control. That's it. That's the good thing about the Bofors. It's an anchor point. Until it's countered well and truly, it's going to allow Bao Liang to, you know, take losses and come back stronger. Because he, yep. he's not going to lose his own territories in the meantime. Really cheeky choice, but it's, it's played off amazingly for them. Mid though is going to be much more, in the last game, the, the previous game, totally no fighting at the middle. And then look at this one, contrast. Because of that Bofus, it's just sent God Acid into the mid with his teammate uh, Isidor. So it's going to be a different complexion this map. Certainly as Gren's pushing in with Panzer support in the south. Tommy's uh, stand no chance. I believe that we've had Raketenwerf has built en masse, and I think they're going to help counter the Bofors. That's what they're, they're thinking of now, the Axis team. They want to take out that emplacement. An and uh, Vaughn, what did he go for in it? He did go for the Sherman. So this is the mechanized upgradable one with Dozer Blade and 50 cal. Get pretty dangerous because it gives us an extra, basically, pack gun of HP. Beats the Puma and the Tiger face Ooh, the tank Fals is going in. hunting. Nice Fals shot against. But... <clears throat> Cancelled the fouls, but still lost the box anyway. He did the Stuart? The Stuart came in and took oh, him out. Oh, King Stuart Vet Three. Do you swap that crew and put it in the Sherman? That's the question. G taken out by the Major up north as well. Eh? This is going well for Von now. Truly, has 33 kills on Von Aston's sharpshooter, the elite sniper. That's been so. Troublesome, and it has to be noted. I mean, we've seen the fancy stuff being done by Von Ivan and Biao Liang, but that manpower economy, the efficiency we were talking about earlier, they've really swung against them now, and that's being shown on the map control for the Axis team. Oh. But if you're Biao Liang, do you go for that arty piece? Do you get the priest and just, well, sexton so, and play the arty game, or do you go and get a tank? Because he's got next to nothing other than that AT gun. Well, that's the, the troublesome. I mean, they are up against a good amount of support weapons, it must be said. But, uh, you know, it's it's always a gamble with heavy artillery like that. Yep. It can either win you the game or, as I say, it can just be further population you could have used on something better. And it's just a gamble. 
I think given uh, Von Aston's cheeky P4 plays, I'd be more inclined to get a tank of my own first, then shore it up with that late game uh, Sexton. Especially on alliances for flanks. <laughs> no, I mean, the, ur <laughs> the urban area gives a good opportunity for flanking if you decide to get artillery. You know, you've got to be a little bit careful. Panzer IV coming in, Puma giving support. We've also got the sniper giving covering fire. And yep. uh, they're trying to wipe Von Ivan off the north face of this map. Takao in trouble. He's to Christian Bale. Nice. Gets out of there for the time Ed being. Three. At least. 34 kills on the sniper, man. We should do bets in uh, chat. Whoever guesses the final sniper score gets a free... Sniper? Free, they get a free uh, sniper in, in the next game. <laughs> the last relic to give them a free sniper. <laughs> and they can be like Barton or Price and start with I'd a sniper. I'd still lose very start <laughs> if <again>. I won. <laughs> oh, re regaining of the fuel from Bao. I like Bao Liang. He's just... He's not overextending at all. He's like, this is my corner. Get the hell out. Well, the one time he did overextend, he lost line. all of his infantry. You know, he's uh, yep. he's now got to play within his limits, and he's doing just that. And he took on... out a Stuka, so it wasn't. Fin it would have been hella bad if he took nothing down with him. <laughs> That's but, uh, right. He did you know, get that. At least, so. Yeah, he traded his house for uh, a, a micro. It was great. <laughs> Good work there. <laughs> a caravan in tow. He'll be alright. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't. I forgot the the caravan. My bad. That's May just theory, pushing in, allowing the. The rifleman. A double the cannon up top and down goes King Sherman. Stuart lives. Oh, he did swap the crews. Hey. Them That's game right, reads. Though. Oh, them game reads. I need to be paid more. Double or quits. Holy shit. Down goes the, the Vet 3 crew from the Stuart. He swapped it over to the Sherman. And two sneaky Rakedans from Isidore has just blown the axis back into this game. Well, certainly. Majors, um, oh, well, smoke it itself. Interesting new strap. About a house. Exactly, the smoke round pushing in the south. Panzer Grenadiers, watch on. They're going to try and get some sneaky Panzer Shreks off now. This is bad news for allies opening up by crushing all that wall. This is good, good, uh, side vision now for all of the Axis. It Oh, the Axis support weapons, of course, thrive uh, in that yeah. environment. And that sniper's done well at 36 kills, even without those walls. Uh, well, exactly. with the walls, rather. So without them, he's going to have free reign. If it wasn't for the Bofors, I'm pretty sure this is already an Axis game. But usage. Well, they're getting closer and closer to the Bofors now. I know yep. they don't have any big uh, Stuka rounds or anything like that, but... Uh, they could apply their AT all in one and take out pretty quickly. Here we go. We've got the uh, Command Panther coming in for the Stuart, pushing Stuart, it away with no. ease. Stuart, no. oh. oh, he's getting like, around the, the house there, but big shots fire. coming around the corner. Nice, hold fire. Can't hit. Misses. Can't see. Nice. Gets nice out of miss it. There. Yes. Wow, well, totally unbiased casting, but nice. Um, <laughs> nice. You're play. just a From Stuart fanboy. Yes. <laughs> you know, Stuart fanboy, that's all it is. Um, Tommy's are forced to rescind their position in the wake of Axis aggression. Alang needs to get that Sexton pumping now. Enemy forces oh, yeah. Securing our I was going to give a metaphor, but oh, I, I refrained. Yep, I refrained. good man. <laughs> I am liking the filter you are applying. It's very efficient. Oh, it's hard, good man. Work. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. here we go, we've got Rakenwerfer combo coming in again. This Cromwell has For to be penguins. careful. Yep, nice little oh. huddled formation. Big concentration. Penguins of terror. Fire. They're going to open those Ooh. beaks and show those gnarly teeth. Even just for the veterancy. Slap it still is about, let it go back and repair, you've got the veterancy. And vet one Rakedans are dangerous because they walk faster whilst camouflaged. Oh, they do. And here comes the Command Panther to finish the job. Oh, He's crushed the wall. That allows Raquette and Verfus free reign. Will he get the shots in? Meanwhile, Piet rounds hit the Panther. We've also got Bazookas coming in. This game's heating up, Eddie. Yep, indeed. But just the little differences again. The, the, Raquette, the Raquette and Army didn't quite move up just enough, so it allowed Baroland's Cromwell to fight for another day. Brilliant infantry much... preservation from Van Ivan, though he's totally turned all that meme around on his head. Oh, he's played. Ex he's, he's much improved that area of his game, and it's fright frightening for a lot of his opponents. 
Here we go, rifleman are suppressed. Sniper went come. down at some point, I, I didn't catch it, but... Uh... Oh no, I actually got a telegram about that, he died of uh, syphilis. Okay, he spent there. that long behind his lines, you know, visiting brothels and stuff. It didn't go well yeah. for him. I mean, what are you going to do, man? It's Alliance of Defiance. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And uh, Vet oh, 5 Fudge Grenadier are in a lot of trouble for Isilda here. Lieutenant takes aim and focus fires him, and the Puma blocks it! Oh, oh Isilda with point. the play! Oh, nice. That Puma needs to Christian Bell, but there we go, there we go. Jackson in J trouble. Jackson getting some good shots off though, nearly killing the Puma. And uh, so, let's check out the south and see what the Grands are up to, trying to take it back. But the Bofors just watches on, Eddie. And here comes that Cromwell. Tiger Ace, Tiger Ace is picked up from Von Aston. Oh, oh, oh spaghetti oh. Oh. <laughs> um, Mao Lang has just decided to get Faustid for no reason whatsoever. Dude, this guy's ever played Men of War, you have to, you have to have infantry in front of your tanks. And it's much the same in Code 2. And he just got punished there. Look with his tank with no infantry support, no sight. And uh, that is one if uh, Von Aston decides to go for it with his Tiger Ace. Tiger Ace is going south as well, so he's going to try and take advantage of those uh, shot blockers and sight blockers. But it may just be able to camp behind them, take out the Bofors now. We'll have to wait and see. It'll have to be supported. And he's though. going forward with the Cromwell. Maybe he's got his. Directional sensors mixed up. It's punch also, be aware in the center the Raket and Verfers are taking aim. Stuart. Huge, huge reach around at the bottom, eh? Oh, God, and you don't want that Tiger in that position. That is a very devastating predicament for Bao Liang. Oh, the B4 both misses. What are you doing, B4? No. If the P4 goes down, that'll be. Oh, it does! Oh. It goes down thanks to expert positioning of the six-pounder by Bao Liang, and the Cromwell is still alive. <laughs> what the hell? Japan. He's playing seven-dimensional Tetris here. Oh. No Russian However, both of could have thought of that one, but okay, oh. good stuff. Uh, he needs to fix up his tiger, though. Does Von Aston? What the hell? Amazing was, turnaround uh... by Bao Liang. How he got out of that. Driving forward with the Cromwell when it was there. It was a good move. People will say that <laughs> yeah, it was it. like, you know, a look, but it was not. He drove forward into danger behind the shot blocker of the factory. And uh, the tank was ah, because of that. Yes, yes, yes. Hindsight gaming. Okay, yeah. I'm on your page now. Still, <laughs> the, the Pegrens of Shreks live on. And they are going to swing this game, I'm telling you. Now. Major. Possibly dying in the north to the Sturm Gewehrs. No, he's going to be okay. We've also got the base barrage, pyrotechnics on display, forcing away the MG in the center. This game could go either way at this point. Eddie Baby with 306 to 312 close. in the victory point counts. A sweat in buckets at both teams here. But the, the both as luckily keeps Bowles uh, APM totally like in my region. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't need to. Worry about any micro to hold that point. That's what the Bofors gives you. <gasps> Raket and Verf has been uncovered in the center. One of them's about to fall into enemy hands, perhaps. Holden Raket and his bad news. Whistledore. Rivers Raketans. Good pick up. Uh, losing the left flank. Folks just uh, running around. Really. Stuart is nearly vet 3 again. <laughs> oh. With a different crew at it. <laughs> it's a chariot that's uh, seen a lot of action, but many heads inside it. And uh, you can really see that it's becoming a bit of a slug match here, but this is what you need breakthrough units for. And the Tiger is the archetypal break unit. Idiot, so from Bao just clinks it off with the AT gun. Shot from the M36. Grenadiers. Washing the Jackson away. Axis regaining control of the center. He goes to Shrex, I believe, of the, of the difference in this patch because they got buffed to get more accurate fire. I was talking to Steve last night. If if they're alongside um, allied vehicles, factions oh, yeah, the, vehicles, they get that buff and it's it's, it's super excellent. Good now. It's yeah. really good. Uh, it's one of the best changes I've seen in the game's uh, history. It's suddenly become honest. relevant. Yes, indeed. Here we go. Stuka's coming down on the both as well. It brace in time. It wasn't actually on target. Bait it didn't brace because it knew it needed to do some work, I think. Should really brace now, though. Yeah, this is your time to brace because you're well and truly uh, 
pay off some respects for the four kill gophers that allow Baolian to just sit there. Oh my god, the tiger's in peril. Yep. That's a firefly. However, the command panther changes position with a hot tag coming into there, allowing the tiger to get out of the picture. Vaughn, the closet Mexican boxer, catching the jab with the right hand counter left hook, and uh, he's capped the VP and fuel on the left. Great work. And the Jacksons getting some big juicy rounds in, but it's missing through the hail of smoke. This Otto's veterancy though, it's a dream. Look at that top right hand side. It is absolutely Steve awesome. wants to play DayZ with me, but I'm saying no, just for you like, oh, give Well, just for me and like the 700 viewers, of course. There we go, the <laughs> Stuart the second is now down. That's the second crew members at least, but uh, that chariot that's seen oh. so much action's final, finally destroyed. B BAR no. dropped on the VP. Gotta get that GC BAR for the stern pass. Kev has not been captured, by the way. It's been out of action for a while. That's just a sign of how frenzied and frenetic this game is. It's yeah, all this over is the place. TV too. And I, I'm almost half hoping uh, it goes to a game three just to see it on a different map. But uh, yeah, very good game so far. He tries to cap the Vakadon, covered by a 50 cal. That's a desperate cap. Nice uh, stun Stunned grenade, it. but it doesn't do anything really against the MG. Stun timing doesn't last. Oh, it's, it's not very good, is it? No. They were really powerful at one point. Stun grenades, I remember. And this, uh, this overarching MG fire. They covered each other's backs, but they're gonna have to pull back now. That's the mid to the axis. Firefly is still chilling. Uh, nearly fed one. You get those. Nice two, uh... Uh, assault grenades in the center, by the way. However, yep. the Foch grenadiers are suppressed. They can't capitalize. It looks like the Raketten Viffer did go into Von Ivan's hands in the end. Where's that rocket artillery when you need it? Here it is. It's firing onto the center. Six rockets fly high in the sky. And who's going to die? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Von Shazam. Ivan's rifleman. Bite the dust. Right in a kisser. <laughs> here comes the P Grins with Shrek's. They are horrible to deal with when you got a firefly. Some Step great right, Simpsons right? references by uh, Ed so far today, <laughs> if you haven't caught them. 30 year old boomer's got to be good for summon. <laughs> Alright. Puma's still alive, though. This will do us to wild with that bad boy. I don't think he ever went Luke's, did he? I'm not sure he did, no. I think the Luke's I'm remembering is from game one. Yeah, so he, he skipped that um, straight into the Stuka. This is the mechanized dream build, though, isn't it? They got it all is. the tools. I'd like to see a Shwer go down there when he can, because if you lose a Volk, it'd be nice to replace him with a one over squad. Jackson got flanked by the Panzer Grenadiers with the ambush. Great work there. Killed him. Oh, they're like imitating Tommy's section. They're not even losing a model despite no HP. Beautiful. Who's this? Uh, the Pegrens got home with all four oh, models. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Flanked and shanked. Tiger Fly, moving get some south. revenge. Tiger's in a bit of... It's feeling nope. Larry. It's going oh, forward. He oh, he doesn't... 80 munitions? God, I never play Brits, so I never even knew how much they cost for the... for the tulip rockets. Tell you what, this uh, stone pine has got to be careful in the, the center. Yep. One of those shots from the Scott, and it's kaput. Not even picking up Scott's more in recent Ooh, Puma's times. going Larry. Look what he's going really deep into base to take out the ambulance. Oh, he disembarks, takes gaming. it out. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Geneva Ruthless. Convention. At least the medics are safe. <laughs> 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 but good luck trying to micro the medics. Ugh, that stuff's annoying. It really does. Tiger think, uh, yourself. The early game sniper and mid game has, has bought the Axis enough time. Look how many MGs Von Aston has. It is uh, truly a thing to behold. Four MG30s. And a Brumbar just wailing away on Bao Yang's MG40. Oh. The one's a 50 cal. He's got a 50 cal, an MG42. Uh, three MG42s he's got. Yep. No shits given with this. Cancer. Four MG spams. Three <laughs> two top orcs. Save us. Von Ivan trying to push back out on the left flank. Medics leading the charge. Oh, look at this flank here. From the command panther going in for the Scott. Yeah. Oh, one more shot. Maybe can't get through Scott the shot. Scott needs blockers. three hits, though. It's one of the, I think, best thing about the Scots. It's a mobile artillery piece that takes three hits to kill it. That is two. brutal. That's brutal. 
on Telemine, I think GG's it. I'm not too sure. That was a BM Telemine, he carried on laying it. <laughs> but yeah, definitely uh, access this game now to close out. Well, I don't see that... anything late game for Vaughn. Uh, he, no. He's rebuilding the Ambo. Isn't yeah. this a shame though for those guys? They, uh, you know, they battled so hard in game one. You could tell. Oh, there's always needed... game three. You know, they just you they just wanted. Them out, you know. They just wanted more TV time. <laughs> <laughs> Loving the time in the, the spotlight. What they want. Yeah. So uh, very well played from Axis though. Take nice. Firefly Veteran C2. He's done a lot of health damage this game, but uh, he's got his work cut out for him now because the Axis are running ramp shot over Alliance of Defiance. Enemy causing trouble. No Sexton ever points. built. I just think they needed some oomph, some big indirect, because Von, oh. Von can't really get good indirect. He can only get a stop. Oh, look Von. at these Tommies. Oh, Stuka's hitting them right in the kisser, but uh, fortunately for them, they parted like the Red Sea, and it, it was... It was all for well, nothing. Delta split. I like how they all went as one group as well. It's like, we're in this together, son. We all die. <laughs> that could have been the <laughs> end of the game right there. Me. Yep. It is GG, though. There's more styles than the spangled banner on the Isildur's veterancy in the top right corner. <laughs> uh, wrong. It's like but it sets us up for juicy game three with uh, potentially. I'll get. Oh Oof. my god. The BM Brum Bear yeah. causing problems. I always say the OKW late game veterancy reminds me of like uh, Germany when they were really desperate. It's like, you get a medal, you get a medal, hmm. everyone gets a medal. <laughs> no Bet one actually no. knows what Bed 5 actually does for most of the units. It's like, other than Overs, it's Sprint. Oh, they nerfed it so much. It used to be really powerful, and then they changed like Vet 3 to be the good one, and then Vet 5 is like extra belt buckles. Uh, yeah. yeah. They get a tie. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good rumba hits. This is painful stuff now for the for the Allied factions to do yeah, this. They're trying to battle out of their base and they're struggling to do even that right now. I'd say it's not earned though. Um, no. Really, really in late game uh, delay tactics from Von Aston. Got to that tie grace. No props. Well, look, speaking of tie grace, wait, just watch this next round. Oh, that could have been a good one. Oh, it still is! <laughs> the whole squad goes down. Let the bodies hit the floor. Damn. Really, Vet 3, homemade Tiger Ace. Well, it comes out of Vet 1, so, yeah, not quite, but got some ingredients from Tesco's. <laughs> but yeah, Isildur carried the mid game. Von Aston, uh, early game was, you know, put under pressure because all he had was a sniper and a dream, but he made it work. Von they, Aston, they, and, and, they both covered at each other at, at crucial yeah. times. Look at the Stukas of who's just <laughs> punishing you, trying to exit your base, you know. This is the worst oh, time. No. No, oh no. They got the flares, they see them. <laughs> that oh. could have been so much worse. Casual sidestep. BAR on the uh, on Baolang's infantry. Nice. And and over Von, I got this. <laughs> this is that time that I like to call the Von Ivan. Um, Zone, yeah, where the yeah. game is over, but he carries on regardless because he's a man of valor. It's the uh, and he never preparation surrenders. time for the next game. <laughs> That's yeah. all it is. He lets Comrade Chair take over, you know. Goes to walk the dog, perhaps, something like that. Comrade Chair has beaten more top 100 players than I ever would. <laughs> <laughs> nice um, grenades there. Tiger Ace pushes Come in. Come on, Tulips. No, main gun crit. Yeah, that was the deciding factor, the main group, oh. I agree. And in disgust, they throw in the towel. <laughs> GG. This is the two versus two Masters Cup. In the room. Oh, yeah, well, you were just saying at 80 hertz, uh, the Valentine dive was uh, the difference. Big time, you yeah. I think uh, if that first shot doesn't miss, Takes out that Stuka straight away. Yeah, we could be looking at a different game. But the both has held on, but I think it was papering over the cracks of the yeah, of losing certainly. a lot of the infantry on that Valentine dive. Quinton Valentino not only went down, it was <laughs> infantry squads as well. So good stout defense from the Axis for game two. Sets us up nicely. 770 viewers as well. And I can see Von Ivan in chat. I can't believe he's... Uh, I'll, uh, yeah, it is uh, Filipino... Bot farms working well. 
<laughs> Very good indeed. We're going to go on a little bit of a break. Poor old A's cast a lot of games today now, and I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear, but uh, it's good to have the exuberance and bravado of N80 Hertz. I'll carry over the line, don't worry, man. <laughs> Um, Frog of War asks for army value graphs. Of course you can see that. We'll show you that before we go on a small break. Um, these are said graphs. There's your four players. Um, Von Ivan took a dive, dive, dive in the last bit there. Um, points held is another good graph. A bit crazy, I guess, but you can see that uh, Isilda just took a huge push off, off Von Ivan in uh, the 22-minute mark. And after that, they were never really losing yeah, and the you could battle. see the von I uh sorry the bao liang's uh dive at about 16 minutes in just threw his army value off a cliff sadly but uh oh, you can back. yeah Wait, there's that there's that blue line and you can see that he takes out Isilda, the okw players um stuka but he, he loses more material for it and that as as we like um, point, or ed pointed out that was the deciding factor for him and i i, I dare to disagree it was uh is certainly very powerful. Let's just have a look at the personal uh, details. Um, Bao Liang's Firefly, so that shows he was on the back foot. His teammate Von Ivan was all about the rifle. And he, as we said, he had great um, rifle play in that game. His, his infantry combat certainly improved. Yep. The Silda, uh, Folks Grenadiers, so in a lot of aggression there. And Von Aston Grenadiers. Um, there you go. And apparently a Panzer IV destroyed a building, so I don't know if that's interesting. Probably not. Uh, we'll be <laughs> back in uh, three or four minutes. Don't go anywhere. Thank you.